Good morning, Chicago Children's Theater family. Do you think they're ready? Ready for what? Boy, the big outdoor indoor neighborhood gathering. Um, don't you mean the big online indoor neighborhood gathering? What are we gathering for? Dancing. Singing. Drawing. Puppets. Also, are you ready? Yeah. 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 I can't hear you. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Then we better get started. Without further ado, welcome to CCBCT's Boy Boy 2020. Thanks, CCT. Hi, everyone. It's Alka, and I wanted to share with you one of the things I've been doing to help keep me going during this shelter at home, which I know has been difficult for so many, has been to dance. And specifically, I like to do a folk dance, a South Asian folk dance from the region of Punjab called Bhangra. It's a song called Chal Jindua. Come, my friend. Come, my love. Dance with me. Will you dance with me? Ready? Here. Now before we play the music, you're gonna need a few steps, right? So you're gonna start with a very simple skip. Two, three, four. Beautiful. Then you're gonna take your imaginary scarves that you have in your hands, and you're gonna wave them in the air too, and you can do a little turn with that. Beautiful. You're gonna keep those arms right up there, and you're gonna mark the beat. This is Pangra, with your shoulders and with your knees. One, two, three, four, and then you can do a low clap. One, two, with your arms up high, and a low clap, with your arms up high. Let's try it with some music. Clap with me, ready? Thank you for teaching us that awesome dance, Alka. Good morning. On behalf of Chicago Children's Theater, I'm excited to welcome everyone to Boing, our big online indoor neighborhood gathering. Hello to all you kids out there. We made Boing for you. We have been so impressed by your strength and resilience these last few months. You have inspired us with your optimism and your imagination. In light of recent events, I want to thank all of my strong and caring neighbors in the city of Chicago and beyond who are working tirelessly to ensure a more just, fair, safer, and healthier future. We believe that art and imagination lift us up, even in the most difficult of times, and that everyone, regardless of background, means, or ability, deserves to create and experience art. Thank you to all of our sponsors, performers, and special guests today. Now, it's Saturday morning. I invite you to grab a bowl of cereal and enjoy Boing 2020. We believe that really great children's theater can make us all better citizens, one play, one class at a time. 
Chicago Children's Theater aspires to enrich our community through diverse and significant theatrical and educational programming that engages and inspires the child in all of us. CCT's mission is rooted in professional grade and innovative theater, arts education, and access. Learn more at chicagochildrenstheater.org. Hi, my name is Cameron Good. You may have seen me on stage at Chicago Children Theater's production of Jabari Dreams of Freedom. Also, I was a top 40 contestant on ABC's American Idol, season two, 2019. Today, I'm gonna to sing a song called Loyal, Brave, and True, because it exemplifies the true meaning of a warrior. And remember, even through tough times, we must stay strong. Whoa, yeah. War is not freedom over my shoulder. I see a clear view. Oh, for my family, reason I'm breathing, everything to lose. And should I ask myself in the water, what a warrior would do? And tell me on underneath my armor, and my Lord, your brave and true. And my Lord, your brave and true. Losing is easy, winning takes bravery. I am a tiger's fool. Out in the open with no one to save me. The kindness of whispers are cruel. And should I ask myself in the water, would a warrior would do? And tell me on underneath my armor, am I Lord, your brave and true? Am I Lord, your brave and true? Cold is the morning, warm is the dream. Chasing the answers till I can't sleep. Or will I be stronger? Or will I believe? When you're with me, yeah. Cause who am I without my armor? Standing in my father's shoes. Cause all I know is that life gets harder. And to be low, brave and true. Thank you. Now get out a piece of paper and something to draw with. Next up is a mini art lesson with Christian Robinson, celebrated children's book illustrator of Last Stop on Market Street by Matt De La Pena, which CCT adapted a world premiere production in 2018. Have fun. 
guess what? I love to make things. I bet you already knew that though. And when I make things, I like to use all kinds of different tools and materials, such as paint brushes, colored pencils, lots of different colored paper, and paints. Another tool I like to use is time. What? <laughs> yes, time, time limits, having deadlines, helps me make sure that I get things done. Otherwise, I could work on the same project forever because I love to draw and make things. But having time limits helps me get things done, but it also fuels my creativity. So for today's Making Space project, I thought we should make something really fast by limiting the amount of time that we work on it. For this project, you're gonna need a partner. Uh, it could be anyone, a friend, a family member, maybe a pet. I reached out to my friend, Mac Barnett, who was gracious enough to help me out. Uh, do you wanna see what we made? All right, so here's what we're gonna need for this project. I'm using one color, and with this one color, I'm gonna create a picture, and I'm gonna create this picture in one minute. So that's the challenge. I'm limiting my color and limiting the time in which I have to create something. When I'm finished with this picture, the plan is to share it with my friend, Mac Barnett, and he is going to write a story about this picture using just one sentence, and he's gonna write it in one minute. So to illustrate the picture, yes, I'm only using one minute, but I had some time to think about the picture I wanted to create. Take as much time you need in deciding what to draw. Um, but limiting the time will kind of affect what sort of picture you make and how much time you spend on certain details, which I think can fuel your creativity. It, it kind of forces you to think differently. And here I am just about running out of time. All right. And so here is what I made. For whatever reason, I made a rhino running with a ribbon on its horn. All right, let's send this over to Mac and see what he does with the drawing. Check it out. I got some mail. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put up this rhino to inspire me. I'm gonna set this timer for one minute. And now, I gotta get writing. Don't peek. And can you guess who Ms. Percy picked to lead the parade? It was me, me, me! Today's art project was inspired by a book. Leo a Ghost Story, written by Mac Barnett, and illustrated by me. Thank you for making space for fun, for creativity, and just being together. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Get involved at chicagochildrenstheater.org slash education slash classes underscore camps.
visit chicagochildrenstheater.org slash together dash read dash more. Black Lives Matter is a global organization whose mission is to eradicate white supremacy and build local power to intervene in violence inflicted on black communities by state and vigilantes. By combating and counteracting acts of violence, creating space for black imagination and innovation, and censoring black joy, they are winning immediate improvements in our lives. Donate at blacklivesmatter.com. Good morning to all of my friends and neighbors in the great city of Chicago and beyond. I especially would like to take the time this morning to speak to all of the young people out there. I want to personally thank you, the children, for the strength you have shown during these few months. It is your positive energy and creativity that continues to inspire the world. I know that I personally am inspired by the messages of hope and love that I have witnessed so many children express by hanging their art in their home windows. In fact, Chicago Children's Theater's windows in my ward of the West Loop neighborhood have been lit up with a huge rainbow display. This is the type of optimism we need right now. So again, thank you to the children and thank you to the parents, family, caregivers, teachers, first responders, Thank you to everyone who is being of service to help us get through this pandemic. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Alderman Burnett, for those very inspiring words and everything that you do for the city of Chicago. Hi, my name is Ariana Burks. You may have seen me in Wonderland, Alice's Rock and Roll Adventure at Chicago Children's Theater. I also recently appeared in Dance Nation at Steppenwolf Theater Company. The song I'm about to sing for you now is one of my favorites. I'm sure you know it. It's definitely a classic. I'm singing it for you now because in spite of everything going on in the world, I think that we could all use a little bit of hope. And this song does just that. Feel free to sing along if you know the words. So song. Hi friends, I am Sarah Perry and I'm the Inclusive Education Manager at Chicago Children's Theater and I also manage the Red Kite Project, a branch of our organization that is devoted to children on the autism spectrum. All proceeds from Boeing 2020 go to benefit Red Kite, 
So please consider a donation via the link below. Next up, we are going to share a little bit more about the Red Kite Project with you. And we are so thrilled to screen Go For The Gold, a music video we created for the Special Olympics Illinois 2020 Virtual Summer Games. The video features Special Olympics athlete leaders and an original song by Nick Davio. It is sure to get the blood pumping. It's just incredible to see each child's growth as they come back to Camp Red Kite year after year. The Red Kite Project includes an ever-expanding umbrella of internationally known productions, tours, camps, residencies, and theatrical experiences that dispel myths regarding youth with autism and their ability to fully participate in the arts. Day 2017 National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award Finalists, distinguishing it as one of the top arts and humanities based programs in the country. Camp Redkite is a wholly unique experience. There's really nothing I can think to compare it to. Just watching him go from a one word answer or reply to a full sentence causes me to cry sometimes. Red Kite transitioned online with Fly at Home programming, continuing to serve our community through live classes via Zoom and pre-recorded content. Involved at chicagochildrenstheater.org slash project. I am a athlete leader 
and I'm so proud to be a formidable. I love Special Olympics and can't wait for the, the summer game. Go, go, go for the gold! 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 Special Olympics is a global organization that unleashes the human spirit. Through the transformative power and joy of sports every day around the world. Special Olympics Illinois offers year-round training and competition in 18 sports. For more than 23,000 athletes with intellectual disabilities and over 13,000 young athletes ages 2 through 7 with and without intellectual disabilities. Please donate at S-O-I-L-L dot org. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Nick. I am a teaching artist and songwriter at the Chicago Children's Theater. And I hope you liked my song, Go For The Gold. I've been working on another song. It's a happy birthday song for all of the children who have had birthdays during shelter in place. So I hope you like this. It's called the world's longest birthday song. You ready? Here we go. One time I had my birthday in a submarine. This year I had to celebrate in quarantine. Maybe next year we can have a picnic on the moon. Some days are strange, but here's something you have to do. Gotta roll with the punches to keep you cool. Spread a little love, yeah, you know it's true. There are brighter days ahead. That's one more reason to get out of bed. Yeah, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Your life is precious. It's true. So happy birthday to you. One time I had my birthday on a mountain top. Kicked off my pool party with a belly flop. Life's full of surprises, yeah, you know it's true. But you'll be better off with a good attitude. That's one more trip around the sun. We hope you had a special one. Life can be crazy, life can be fun. One more beautiful, awesome, scary trip around the sun. All right, here come all the names. Happy birthday to Logan and Amelia and Claudia too. Alejandro and Melody, Lucille and Bear, Marcus and Marquion, Marquiona. Aliona, Taroji, Eulalia, and Zaria too. Isla, Adrena, Ariana, Elise, Ray, and Annabelle, Rosabella too. Tobin and Hank, Chloe and Cooper, Harper and Eloise, and Vikram and Cindy and Rick, and Kari too. Maddie, Jackie, Heather, Andrew, James, Sasha, how about you? Happy birthday to you. Ooh, yeah. All right, thanks for listening, everybody. You can check out more of my music on Spotify and iTunes. That's Mr. Nick Davio. You know, I love celebrating birthdays, but you know what I like even more? Cookies. Nicole, Liz, do I smell cookies? Yes, Mr. Nick, uh, Nicole and I are on a cookie baking Zoom date. Uh -huh. We are making cookies for everyone's birthday. With oh, so delicious. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am here with my good friend, Liz Chittister. I'm Nicole Lorenzi. And you might recognize us from Chicago Children's Theater's production of Redrick. Oh, Liz, Liz. Oh, yes, mouse ears. Liz, have you tried... Your excellent cookies yet? I have not tried them yet. Here, let me try them. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
This is a marvelous cookie. Mm -hmm. Sweet with an excellent crunch. Perfect to follow a dinner or just after breakfast and prior to lunch. <laughs> mm. Crisp, but not overly brittle. Mm. Just a scintilla of spice. Mmm. <laughs> English soft in the middle. Let's have another. These cookies are nice. Oh yeah, I'll have another. Definitely have another. Eating cookies, eating cookies, we're so happy eating cookies, 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 we adore. Cookies, 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 cookies. we go cookie eating cookies. Maybe we should stop. Let's have more. <laughs> no, 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 Nicole, we have to put these cookies in a box and we have to tie it with a string. Then we will stop eating so many cookies. That's an excellent plan. Mm -hmm. However, there is a problem with the plan. What plan? The no more eating cookies plan. Oh, yeah. What's the problem with the plan? The no more eating cookies plan. Is if we want to eat more cookies, then of course we can. We should untie the box and open it. That's true. How about a cookie? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> eating cookies, eating cookies, we love cookie eating cookies, 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 we adore. Cookies, 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 we're so cookie eating cookies. Maybe we should stop. Let's, Let's have, have more. more cookies. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Brian Selznick, the author and illustrator of The Invention of Hugo Cabret and many other books. In 1993, I illustrated a book called Dollface Has a Party, which was written by the wonderful writer Pam Conrad. At the time, it was a sweet story about a doll who throws herself a party with her friend's knife, fork, spoon, and plate. 23 years later, my friend Jackie Russell asked me if I would help turn that book into a puppet show. She thought the children might especially enjoy it during this time of quarantine because Dollface never leaves her home, throws a party because she is bored, and makes friends with the items she finds around her house. It was with this idea in mind that I began directing the show via Zoom with the puppeteers Will Bishop and Grace Needleman. I found that making this video puppet show helped me feel a little bit better during these very difficult times when I couldn't be with my friends, just like Dollface's party helped her to feel a little bit better. So it is now my pleasure to invite you to our party. Dollface Has a Party by Pam Conrad Pictures by Brian Selznick Dollface loved a party. So one morning she called up all her friends. 
there will be a party today with music and dancing and sweet cake. Please come at noon. Everyone was excited because they all liked music and dancing and sweet cake. And they all loved Dollface. So Dollface put a table in the sun. She covered it with a bright blue tablecloth and set it with her favorite plate. To the plate, she said, you must be very still and you must be very straight. Cup, stay empty until I fill you with tea. Later, you will stir the tea. And knife, you will cut the sweet cake. Teapot, wait right here and keep the tea hot while I find some music and sweet cake. Then Dollface went off looking. She met a chair in the middle of a rug. I need music for my party. Can you make music? I can't make music, Dollface, but I am excellent at parties. You can sit on me when you're not dancing. Then you are invited to my party chair. Follow me and we'll find music and sweet cake. I'm no good at finding things either, but I know someone who is. He stirred the slightest bit, and a shiny yellow balloon rose up behind him. Did I hear party? I love a party! How can I help? Dollface clapped her hands and laughed. All we need now is music and sweet cake. Dollface, chair, and balloon went off looking for music and sweet cake. Balloon led the way. He floated in the air before Dollface and held her hand. Chair followed. We've come so far, Balloon, and still no music, still no sweet cake, and I'm tired. Balloon frowned and tangled his string. I know I heard music here somewhere, just yesterday, said someone on a shelf. What's this? Oh, we're looking for music and sweet cake, and we can't find them anywhere. Will I do? Dollface stood on chair to see high on the shelf, and there was a little red piano. You are just what I'm looking for, said Dollface. Can you make dancing music? The piano answered with a waltz. Very carefully, Dollface slid Little Red Piano off the shelf and tucked it under her arm. Now we have music for my party. Let's go to the party, said Balloon, jumping along the back of Chair. Not so fast, Balloon, said Chair. There's one other thing. Sweet cake. Dollface was sad. She sat down in Chair and put the piano on her lap. Where will we ever find sweet cake? Balloon tapped against her shoulder and listened while Dollface tapped out a sad tune. Goodness, piano, said Dollface. Your keys are sticky. Yes, said piano. Someone was playing a jig on me yesterday while they were eating sweet cake. Sweet cake? Sweet cake? And where was this sweet cake? Asked Chair. Well, if you play a little march, I will lead you there, said piano. So Dollface tapped a lively march on the piano and off they went. They marched through the long hall with the echo and the pictures on the walls. Was the sweet cake here? Whispered Balloon. Not here, said Piano. 
They marched into the dining room with its long table and heavy wooden chairs. Is this the place? Asked Chair. No, said Piano. This isn't the place. Then they came to the kitchen and marched across the black and white checkered floor. This is the place, said Piano, and they all looked around them. There was nothing on the table except a bowl of flowers. There was nothing on the stove except a pot of simmering soup. But there, on the counter, sitting on a paper lace doily, was the most beautiful cake. With pink and white icing and tiny green sugar leaves. Look, whispered Chair to Dollface. Look, sweet cake. Now we can have our party, said Balloon. We have everything we need. Dollface, chair, balloon, little red piano, and the sweet cake came marching back. Piano played a marching tune. She's back! Fork shouted. Dollface is back! Can we start the party? Are we ready? We heard the music. Knife said. We heard the music before we saw you. Yes, we have music for the party. Said Spoon. There's a balloon too! Shouted Plate. And a comfortable chair for resting between dances. Said Cup. Teapot felt all warm inside. Let the party begin! She said. And so it did. Dollface cut the sweet cake with knife, and gave herself the biggest piece right in the center of Plate. She sat on the chair and ate sweet cake with fork. While she tapped her toe and watched everyone dancing to the music, then she poured herself a cup of tea from steaming teapot, stirred it with spoon, and sipped it slowly. Dollface danced with balloon, and she danced with teapot. She danced with everybody, and between dances, they all sat on chair. Was a wonderful party.
The Trevor Project is the leading national organization providing crisis intervention to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning youth. Donate at thetrevorproject.org. Wow, that production was incredible. Hi everyone, I am Dexter Ellis, Director of Education and Community Programs here at Chicago Children's Theater. You know, sure, the artists, the professional artists in Chicago are doing some really inspiring and amazing work right now. But you know who else is doing inspiring work? The kids. The kids, of course. Whenever the stay-at-home order began, we invited families to make five-minute plays at home as part of our Rolla Clay Pack Play at Home contest. Uh, living rooms became castles, pets became mythical creatures, and children became heroes, all while sheltering in place. Out of the 36 entries that we received, Journey Gavin and her video, Thank You for Being a Friend, took first place. They became the gold medal winner. Thank you again to all the families that participated and the Rolla Clay Pack Foundation. Enjoy this play and remember to sign up for classes and camps at chicagochildrenstheater.org. We're doing some really awesome and exciting camps right now. And now without further ado, we present, thank you for being a friend. Hoi and Buddha are walking when Hoi noticed Buddha getting excited. Buddha, you're dancing. Did you pick up the smell? Yes. Oh my God. We should follow the smell. It's time to fly. It's time to fly. <laughs> you <heard it. laughs> Hoi and Buddha are traveling. Using Buddha's nose, they end up in an unknown forest. Creeping slowly, Buddha's nose is fresh on the scent of the villain. Closing in on the villain's lair, Buddha notices that they are blocked by a gate. Buddha uses her super strength to break it open. Bye, Buddha. Bye. Bye, guys. 
I hope you like finding out who did it and we all had a fun adventures. for the performing arts. Bill Boyer. The Knowles Wharton Dyke family. The Ray family. The Levy Mark family. Jack and Kathy Lever. The Saltillo family. David, Ruben, and Sasha Pritzker. Thank you, Hope you had fun at blowing.